But Congress needs to step up, pass common sense gun safety laws. On one of America's biggest holidays, gun control was in focus after a spate of mass shootings over the 4th of July weekend. Banning assault weapons and high capacity magazines, extensive background checks, they're part of the answer. They'll make a big difference. President Joe Biden repeated his calls to tighten gun laws during a speech to educators. As the White House on Tuesday called gun violence an epidemic, mass shootings in Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Fort Worth claimed the lives of 10 people ahead of the holiday, marking yet another Independence Day marred by violence and a grim reminder of the decades-long failure to curb gun violence in the United States. Fort Worth's mass shooting happened after a local festival just before midnight on Monday. Earlier in the evening, a man opened fire on apparent strangers in Philadelphia. And on Sunday, a hail of gunfire in Baltimore at an outdoor neighborhood block party, where half of the injured were children. There have been over 340 mass shootings in the U.S. so far in 2023, according to data collected by the Gun Violence Archive. Republican lawmakers have continuously blocked Biden's attempts to significantly reform gun safety laws and his push to reinstate a ban on assault weapons. All this comes just one year after the Highland Park massacre, which hundreds gathered on Tuesday to commemorate. A man fired into an Independence Day parade crowd in the Chicago suburb, killing seven people and injuring dozens more. U.S. and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting. and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting. 